Oh my goodness, what's what's happening? What is Ryan doing? I'm wearing my lucky shirt. Bring in the luck. <laughs> are we doing this right now? Yes, you're gonna do it. You got this. But seriously, are you sure? Are you sure, bro? Yes, very sure, let's go. All right, well, if you're not aware of what this flag is, this is the transgender flag. And I'm here on camera at the Rad Bike Adventure here to tell you that I am indeed trans. And this is not something new. This is something that I've been dealing with for most of my life, I would say, and running from it, unfortunately, feeling a lot of shame and guilt about uh, who I am as a person and trying to hide it. And now I'm ready to come out. I'm a trans guy and I use they, them, and he, him pronouns. Now I get to discover the beautiful person that I am and can fully express that instead of feeling like I'm hiding. I have often felt like I'm hiding and that no one is really seeing the full and real me. And it always made me feel guilty that I wasn't showing my true and honest self. And I really wanna share that part of me with the world <laughs> and not hide it any longer. Yeah, that's uh, that's the, the basics here. <laughs> I've made it an exciting journey, I will say that. I think traveling and constantly meeting new people was a one way of coping. And I think this is a really great way of coping in a way because I got to meet so many interesting and amazing people and see some really beautiful places on this planet. As we know, bicycling can really help with mental health. So I think that did help a lot, uh, help alleviate a lot of my pain. But of course, if you don't deal with the source, it's just gonna stay there. And I really needed to dive in and get to the bottom of my depression and anxiety and deep, deep insecurity and unhappiness that I had. And since accepting myself, I have never felt more alive or grounded in myself and who I am and what I want to share and give to the world. And I can tell you that if you thought I was energetic before, I'm just gonna be like 10 times that now. I'm still in the, the early stages, so everything still feels a little bit raw and, um, and scary. It is scary making this video, I have to say. Like many of us during the pandemic, we didn't have our usual band-aids that could cover our insecurities or pain and that was taken away and so i really had to sit down and come to terms with this and i have to say that i have made so much growth in the past year i'm feeling so much better about myself i can feel so much more self-love and i want to share my full true self with the world and so i'm so happy that you guys are here with me and I really appreciate all the support that you've given us throughout the entire journey of the Rad Bike Adventure. We just hit 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. That just blows my mind that there's 15,000 people out there who said, yes, I wanna watch your content. I wanna come hang out with you and have fun and ride bikes with you. And I hope that you'll continue to do that. We're still gonna be riding bikes for sure, but we might also do more things that are like just Rad Life Adventure. <laughs> Also might take a little break from the channel just because I'm gonna be going through transition and there's a lot to deal with with that. Take some time for myself in this really exciting chapter in my life. If you're here and you're supporting us, uh, so appreciate you being here. Hit that thumbs up, I'm gonna need it guys. All the support you can give. And if you are a person that's watching this and you are not down for this, then please just go on your way. No need to leave a nasty comment. Let's just keep it positive here and supportive as always at the Rad Bike Adventure. Radical inclusivity of uh, positive, supportive people and just getting everyone and anyone out on bicycles. That's our whole goal here. Just remember that if you're struggling with something, know that you're not alone. There's always someone that you can reach out to. You have a lot of support in this world. You're not alone. If you're feeling like there's, there's no hope, there is hope. Life is amazing and beautiful, and I'm telling you, you will have a supportive community out there. You just have to look for it. And I hope that you all can be part of my supportive community. Again, I appreciate that everyone has come on the journey with us, and that's really meant a lot, despite all of the other stuff going on. Darren and I are doing really well. I'm sure y'all are wondering that. And I think we've, we've never felt more connected, so that's really incredible. I feel so lucky for that. And uh, we're just gonna take it day by day and definitely still riding bikes, still going on adventures. It'll just be a Ryan that feels a lot better about themselves and a lot more, um, a lot more full, full as a human, as a person. And I'm, I'm excited to share that with the world. Happy coming out day, a month late. Trans rights are human rights and sending all my love to all of you guys.
thank you for watching and rat on. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.